All right, Ron, our other top story here at five, the gas station clerk who police say automatically locked a door moments before a man opened fire on customers inside that store has now been charged. 22 year old Al Hassan Ayash faces felony charge of involuntary manslaughter surrounding a dispute allegedly over just four dollars worth of merchandise. Sean Lay is live tonight with this story. Sean, there are a lot of questions that still surround this case. Absolutely, Kimberly. Here's the deal. First and foremost, the business, the gas station remains closed. The city found that it was operating without a license after the shooting. Now, here's a picture of Gregory Kelly on the gas station door here. He was one of three men trapped inside the shop. He was shot and killed. The other two customers with him were also shot. They survived. The clerk was able to lock this door, trapping those men inside with a gunman. Now, he was in court today. His attorney says, yes, he used poor judgment, but he should not be charged. I've never seen this before, but their theory is to hold him responsible, criminally responsible for the intentional crime that's committed by somebody else. The attorney for 22 year old Al Hassan Ayash admitting the gas station clerk used poor judgment, but should not be held responsible for three innocent customers being shot inside the gas station May 6th. Samuel McRae is charged with shooting the three customers. One man, 37-year-old Gregory Kelly, was shot multiple times and was killed. But the clerk is also facing involuntary manslaughter charges for using an automatic lock to lock the store's door, as he argued with the gunman. Video from inside the shop is terrifying. The three customers were trapped, the gunman making it clear that he would shoot everyone if the door was not unlocked. And that's exactly what the gunman did. Ayasha's attorney says he locked the door to help police. He calls the police and he locks the door so the thief uh, can still be there when the police arrive. This was all over Ayash thinking McRae was going to walk off with an iced tea and a pack of donuts. And prosecutors say it was Ayash who escalated the entire situation. And people were pulling, kicking, trying everything they could to get out of there. And they were stuck in there because of the defendant. Ayash's attorney wanting a low bond for him. The judge saying no way. It wasn't just the locking of the door. It was a participation in escalation of this situation and then locking the door while people were begging to be let out. Now, this is Ayash's arraignment today. He's officially been charged. So much information, so much back and forth just in that arraignment alone. Bottom line, the magistrate's setting a $200,000 bond for the clerk, Kimberly and Devin. Uh, if, he gets, if he makes that bond, he'll be on house arrest on a tether. Back to yeah. you. Uh, Sean, the clerk, Ayash, he was out on bond for another charge when the shooting happened, and it sounds like that played a part in giving him the bond that he got today. The magistrate said that, talking about a threat to the public. He was out on bond currently for felonious assault and a felony gun crime related to a road rage incident. Goes to the judgment issue, the magistrate said, so she set that high bond. Yeah. Okay. Sean, thanks.